what is up everybody and welcome to a brand new video and today we are leaving Russia flying over to Thailand with me Evelina and the two cats so you could see the whole gang is in the back I'll show you more of them when we're in the airport but right now we're stuck in traffic So guys, we're actually on the way to the airport and you could see Crocus City Hall. See, there's a lot of people there, a lot of police. This is how it looks like. See, Crocus City it says right there. Crazy. So many people have died. Unbelievable. You can see the burned down part as well. The roof is burnt. Well guys, we made it through. Me and Evelina are gonna have a bit of food at this restaurant in the Shermetovo airport. We got Pichenka sleeping here. He took some pills so that he's gonna be calm. So is Ponchik over there. Very nice. So they're chilling. Now, I did not get any questions asked or anything like that, which is good. Now what I wanted to say is that they ripped me off, Aeroflot ripped me off. I got three seats together and they said that in one row only one cat could sit, but if you get... So I just, I don't even know how to explain it. Everything is screwed up and I, I will have to swap my window seat with another seat with another person. So let's hope it's going to work out. But I thought it's a good idea to start from here. We have a big, big adventure going on because I reserved a hotel for five days where we're gonna be staying with the cats. In that, th those five days, I will need to get myself a place to live with Evelina and the cat. So that is the plan. We have a lot and a lot of things to do. This is just the beginning of a tough journey. So stay here, press the like button, press the subscribe button, and comment. What would you guys like to see in Thailand? Chink is right here chilling out. Evelina took him out for a bit. Manchuk is chilling sleeping well he's just staring at somebody staring at this tree look at Pichinka. he's like i don't want to do this i don't want to do this feeding the cats with a bit of cat nice things evelina is doing it Poncho just had a bit of food right now he's literally chilling you beautiful cat no he's not up for some food well guys, we have made it inside of the airplane with the cats, got some decent seats. You know, we were uh, arguing with Aeroflot, but you know what, it's not that bad. We got uh, Pichenk over here, and we got Ponchik over here as well, so they're chilling. We're waiting for takeoff, very flipping nice. We're also gonna get some additional seat belts for Ponchik because he's flying on the floor. He isn't as cool as Pichenka. I'm actually kidding, Pichenka was just too fat to fly on the ground, so uh, he had to get himself a seat. So the ginger cat, Pichenka, which is Cookie, got himself a full-on passenger seat on the Aeroflot. Very flippin' nice. So putting the seat belt on for the cat. <laughs> We are about to take off. We're on the runway, getting ready to flip and go. This is probably the closest I've ever been to business class and first class. Or maybe that's business class, I have no idea, but this is the closest I've ever been to the wealthy people who are able to buy themselves such expensive expensive seats anyways so far so good we didn't have to push start the airplane which is uh, actually pretty flipping good looks like we're about to take off 
we can see there's a camera right here oh let's flip and go hopefully the cats are not scared Whoa. this is definitely shaky well off we go on our adventure and off we are flying away from Moscow goodbye Moscow hello movies look at this entertainment system this actually doesn't look that bad I like watching movies in English and uh, this is how the infotainment system looks it's actually very good like I'm gonna watch some movie try to get a bit of sleep thank you very much Evelina thank you very much anyways let's see what are we gonna be watching today who the heck is this I don't even know so what did we get for dinner at Aeroflot? We got some sort of a chicken, some broccoli, some rice, some peppers. Also, we got smoked chicken, which I don't know if I'm going to eat. Look at that, smoked chicken. And uh, Evelina is just going to show because I cannot do this with one hand. You got some sort of a pie, which looks absolutely delicious. It smells absolutely delicious as well. Very nice. What else we got? We got a little bun that you could put a bit of butter on and uh, spread it around. Very nice. And obviously, because we're on a Russian airline, we get a bit of black bread. Very nice. And some olive oil for the digestive system. Some butter and some president cheese. And that's pretty much it. Let's try this out. Well, guys, since I am not that hungry whatsoever I'm just gonna try out the chicken I'm gonna have the main course and that's it so it feels a bit gooey let's have a try it's just a typical you know Thai it has a bit of uh, coconut and lemongrass but I gotta tell you one thing for airplane food this is very very good mm. with a bit of rice no broccoli guys because I'll tell you one thing I'm not a big fan of broccoli the cats are doing quite well chilling around a little bit you know they have uh, some tablets taken for Pichenka we actually bought one of those things you know the carriers that fall out so he's just chilling there and uh, Ponchik is sleeping and I was thinking if he wakes up and starts screaming we'll just put them together with Pichenka so that they could uh, chill out and enjoy themselves anyways we got a very very long flight to go we are I think in Uzbekistan already anyways we're very close to Uzbekistan hopefully this flight is gonna go quick oh gotta mention that I got some slippers and now I feel amazing during this flight very flipping nice After having a bit of food, Ponchuk is washing himself now. This is, we got like an hour left of flight. Throughout the whole flight, I was just watching a bunch of movies. finally made it over now we're just gonna be waiting for the trap to be put close to the airplane then we're gonna be out we're supposed to be meeting up by some person who's gonna help us go through the cat customs and everything like that and I also already ordered a taxi which is gonna bring us straight into the hotel so smart thinking before the flight so don't have to worry about transportation or anything like that once I landed well, we have finally arrived over to Thailand and I'm wrecked can't wait to get some food but first we need to go through the customs and all that stuff with the cats so very nice we're getting escorted over so that we can go 
through everything quicker. Well guys, we finally actually made it out of the airport. I did not record inside of the airport much because guys, we have so many bags and the cats and the walking with them is very hard. So I'm like recording in between of what's going on. And right now we're driving around in a swaggy bus to the hotel that we're gonna be staying for five days while we are searching for an apartment. You might be wondering, what sort of a swaggy bus is it, Lourdes? Luxurious. Very nice, Lourdes. We got AC over here. You got that so that nobody would break in your glove box. A bunch of switches. Oh, this is a sports steering wheel, by the way. Look at that. Flipping cool. Very interesting, but look at the roof. Just absolutely amazing. It even has a disco light in the back. You know what, guys? Screw traffic. We're going in. We are going in. This is <laughs> the <Lithuanian> areas. <laughs> going on the side road. Getting through. Not standing in this huge queue. So, we came to a hotel. They gave us not a very clean room, so I'm gonna go to the reception to ask them to change the room because it's dirty, it smells very bad. So we need that change right now. I didn't record the part where I was racing down to get cats, some cat litter and stuff like that because I was in a big rush. They needed to go to the bathroom. What a flipping day. Oh my God, this is gonna be very painful, I think. Well, guys, just had a quick shower. I am in the room right now. Well, Evelyn is having a bit of funchosa in the background. We're in this tiny hotel room with the baggage. I did some improvisation here. We use this glass for the cats right now. And we, from the automatic feeders, we brought them with us from Russia. I was carrying them all the way in that bag. Then uh, I had to take a motorcycle to get this, which I successfully did. Ponchuk is screaming. Ponchuk doesn't feel like he's at home, neither does Pichenka, obviously new environment. Big, big stress, nine hour flight. We had to be in the airport four hours before and that's like, I don't even know, 15, 20 hours for them. Well, well, well guys, finally we're coming out of the hotel to get a bit of food because we are absolutely starving right now. <sighs> we had a bit of sleep, like three hours sleep, and then we woke up. Wow, somebody had a nice old dinner right here. Not bad, there's still shrimp left. I don't know, could you eat a bit of shrimp? I gotta tell you one thing, guys. It is really warm outside. It's very unusual after the coldness of Russia and being in the hotness of Thailand. So we came to some Heaton Concept Hotel. Uh, they were, they allowed cats inside. So we had to choose this one. Uh, we rented this out for five days. So we're gonna be staying here, hopefully less, but uh, I booked for five days just in case. Because I remember when we were in Turkey, um, you know, you need to check out, you gotta smell the apartments. You gotta look how they look like in person check them out so that is exactly what we're going to be doing tomorrow and we're going to see is it easy to find yourself an apartment in thailand look at this a lizard wow look at this little lizard he's just chilling obviously people who are wondering are we going to be making content about russia yes we are we're going to be making content about russia with a mix of thai content as well we're going to be exploring checking out different places different things so stay tuned and subscribe to the channel well, i feel so much better being outside because out, outside russia because i can finally speak out whatever i want without facing any consequences i hope anyways hopefully nobody's gonna come over to thailand to get me and we're also gonna be working on getting a u.s visa here so that's a plan that's a plan because at the end of the day we want to go to the United States of America. Well, I put the taxi uh, point in the wrong place. So thank God I still remember a bit of Pattaya. So we're walking over to the Russian market right now because that's where 
the good Thai food is I'm not even kidding guys um, in my previous videos when I was in Thailand you could actually see that it's very flipping good we have our favorite place there which we're gonna go and I'm gonna eat some pad krapao and enjoy myself what could be better than a bit of pad krapao in the evening with the love of my life Evelina yes if you want to see us <laughs> we're in the Russian market but it's called uh, I think pra Patranmak Pratanmak night market or something like that well, we're walking through a sketchy neighborhood here oh we have finally made it to the place and we're just gonna go eat straight away in the place we know where it's tasty at oh we have made it now we need to find where we eat at and this is the place over here the best food ever it's right here oh look at the selection of foods i cannot wait they even have russian food here but i'm here for the thai food Evelina is in the coconut straight away i'm drinking finally a real coca-cola not dobry cola real cola i was considering getting myself a smoothie but i gotta have a bit of real coke first <laughs> mm. oh look at those spring rolls oh wow they're very hot but i'm gonna try them out in a second when they cool down they're boiling i can burn my fingers off i finally got what i wanted a bit of pad crop out with egg oh, this is just amazing let's try this out guys i was waiting for this for so long Mm, this is the best thing ever. I can live here all my life with a food like this. Mm. It's so good. Guys, I cannot. The spring rolls are just the bomb here. Mm. I've been dreaming of coming here for so long. So long. All the nine hour flight, I was just like, couldn't wait to come to this night market and have some good quality Thai food so a lot of so a lot of people buy this thing and drink it by itself it's horrible that way it's Red Bull concentrate you gotta buy yourself some sparkling water fix it all up it becomes very tasty well, let's try it out this way it actually tastes like Red Bull and it costs so cheap to make. Really good. And you get like a 32 ounces of heart attack straight up for like less than $2 probably or less than a dollar. Mm. Very good. Well, the cats are eating and we are back in the room. Now, first of all, guys, I want to apologize that I didn't update you when I was leaving because I was afraid that somebody's going to snitch on me and I'm going to get stopped at the border. So I kind of paused and went out from the internet for a few days so guys really appreciate if you could subscribe to the channel like the video comment under the video on what you would like to see in thailand what would you like to know about russia and all the good stuff thank you very much and i love every single one of you